A second issue that is important for Common Criteria 6.8 is having a good change control process in place. You would want to have a record of uh, software being installed. What's your baseline configuration and what are the additional things that have been approved or changed to be installed onto a particular device? Having knowledge about that and having a formal process so that if an employee wants to install something that wasn't previously approved, the request can be made, it can be documented, it can be approved before that change occurs. That type of paper trail is very important because especially after a data breach or some other type of security incident, when you're going back through in some type of forensics effort and you're trying to understand when, how, why did this happen, you'll identify in your change control process when certain things um, were either approved or denied in terms of software being installed on these systems. You also want to have a process of bringing in uh, a system that's been out of your control. So let's say a remote employee has been terminated and they send the equipment back to you. Prior to just turning that equipment back over to the next employee or connecting that equipment to your corporate environment, you'd want to have a process to stop and perform an evaluation to understand is everything that's installed on this system what we expect? Has anything new been introduced? Is there any type of a threat that would keep us from wanting to put this on our, our network and repurposing this equipment? So identifying these changes and making sure that you stop and verify that these unauthorized changes haven't occurred are very important issues for 6.8.